This trick might be cool, but it's useless. I spent hours figuring out AI effects you'll actually use, and I'm about to share with you how it can take your studio from looking like this to this, level up your drone shots, and create incredible B-roll sequences with only your phone. Now to get something that actually looks decent, you need to know not only what tools to use, but how to prompt them. This is the thing that took me so long to figure out, and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. First of all, showing you how to get this sort of AI enhanced background. Getting green screens to match the lighting of your A-roll perfectly is one of the things that makes it really difficult to get a convincing looking artificial background. But you know what AI is incredibly good at doing? Lighting. I've been trying to fill up these bookshelves with stuff for a long time and it, it just hasn't happened. But I thought with AI, I can probably do this instantly. Here's what I did. I took a screenshot from one of my most recent videos and then uploaded it to Artlist with their image to image generation and selected Google's Nano Banana. The reason I'm using Artlist for this is because they have all sorts of different AI tools and models all in one place. No single type of AI is best for every single task. And I figured out which one would do best for each of the tips that I'm gonna show you. I also realized it's a lot cheaper to get them all from Artlist instead of just paying for like six different AI subscriptions. You can do that. It's just gonna take longer and you know, like I said, be more expensive. Especially since right now, Artlist is running their biggest sale ever, 40% off any of their annual AI plans and 20% off their annual max plans. So this is the best time to try it out and you'll still get two free extra months by going through the link that I have in my description like usual. So now that I've got my screenshot in my image to image generator and Nano Banana selected, I'm gonna tell it to fill out the bookshelves, you know, add some more books and camera equipment. And importantly, I'm going to instruct it on the specific lighting that I want. Right now, there's really no motivated lighting on my right side. So I wanted to add some lighting to that bookshelf so that the light hitting me looks a little bit more natural. I also wanted to retain the overall lighting integrity so that the AI doesn't relight my face, which would totally kill the entire illusion. Finally, I asked it to add some of that background blur and then I hit generate. Now this image looks really good. You can see it even got the reflections on the computer screen and on my glass desk. This is like really difficult stuff and the AI did it flawlessly. Using the Nano Banana model specifically is actually really important here because I tried it with different models like Flux Context and Sea Dream and neither gave me great results. So make your credits count, trust me, use Nano Banana. Now the good news is that AI image generation actually doesn't use many credits whatsoever. That's one of the great things about Artlist's model is that you can just generate a bunch of images without burning through a ton of credits and then work off of the image that actually looks best to you. Now that I've got a background that I like, I'm just going to download that image and then re-import it into the AI to remove myself entirely. This gives us a nice clean plate in the background so that everything looks good when we mask it out later. From here, you wanna import it into your editing software of choice, put it right underneath your A-roll and then mask out your A-roll. Just like that, we have our enhanced background. You don't have to stop here though. I went through the same steps to get a spaceship background and then animated it with Sea Dream Pro, making sure to specify that I wanted the shot to remain static. If we use that shot as our background and then throw some of Artless Light Flare plugins on top, you've got a really convincing mat. Even the reflections in the desk have stars going by and they're perfectly mirrored. It's kind of mind blowing. It's insane that in 30 minutes with one tool and just a couple of prompts, I was able to get an effect that used to be reserved for Hollywood. Speaking of higher end productions, one of the most difficult but most valuable jobs on any set is being the drone pilot. A great drone shot just looks incredible. So naturally, I wanted to figure out if there was a way that we could make this easier and more incredible with AI. One of the big drawbacks to a lot of consumer grade drones is that they just really aren't very good in low light. They have little tiny small sensors so that you can send it up in the sky and it doesn't weigh so much, but that also means that it's not gonna perform well in darkness. One way to work around this is to shoot day for night, but then it's really annoying and difficult to get a day shot to look like a nighttime shot in your post-production, like with color grading. AI can do this almost instantly. Here's what I did to turn this drone shot from a daytime shot to a nighttime shot. I saved a screenshot of the clip, then dragged and dropped it into Artlist's image to image tool. And in the prompt, I specified that I wanted it to look like nighttime with stars in the sky and cool moonlight. This time I only needed one generation to get a result that I wanted. I'm super happy with this. And from there I clicked animate, which moved it into Artlist's AI image to video tool. I tried a few different models, but the best one by far was Seadance V1 Pro. I put in my prompt and then in just one generation, I had a result that I was actually really happy with. Let me know what you think of it 
down in the comments. I think it looks really clean. Let's take this drone manipulation one step further. AI can take like a sort of typical drone shot and just elevate it a little bit. You see, the secret to any really good shot is foreground elements, something that'll give it depth in front of the camera. The crappy thing is, it's really hard to find foreground when you're in the sky. Have you ever watched a video or a movie and seen a shot where a bird flies in front of the camera during a drone shot? It just elevates the whole thing. The problem is it either takes insanely lucky timing to capture it in camera or a ton of effort in post-production. All I had to do to get that effect was to tell the AI that that's what I wanted. It didn't nail it on the first generation, but the second one is what you're looking at here and it looks pretty awesome. In 60 seconds, the AI took a boring, typical drone shot and elevated it a whole other level. The third and final discovery that absolutely blew my mind is that you can use AI to create entirely new B-roll shots with unreal effects. Practically nobody is doing this right now. First, I captured three unique angles of the product. These were just flat lit images, no setup whatsoever. I imported them into Artlist's Nano Banana Image to Image Generator, and then I gave it some very specific prompts. I was going for a dark sci-fi cinematic aesthetic with blue backlighting. I told it I wanted to use a white key light, keep the shadows dark, and add some atmospheric dust floating around for a cinematic vibe. Most importantly, I specified what I wanted the lens profile to be. I wanted it to be shot at f1.8 for a nice blurry background, and I wanted it to give us some anamorphic flares. After generating a few versions of each photo, I picked the ones that I wanted, and then moved those into the image to video generator. Again, using Cdance V1 Pro. Now it's time to prompt. Prompting animations in Artlist is actually a lot Lot easier than doing it with other services that I've used because they use AI to automatically analyze the image that you put in and to give you suggestions on what it thinks might look good for the image. Most of the time I just had to take this AI generated prompt and do a few little tweaks here and there and it gave me incredible results. If you're a product reviewer or you make advertisements, this is absolutely the next thing you need to try. I haven't really seen AI used quite like this yet in social media, but once people realize that it's possible possible, the game is going to completely change. If you don't have Artlist yet and you want to try out these tools, I have a link down in the description that'll give you two free months added onto any of their annual plans that includes the AI plan. Plus that will help support this channel to no cost to you. And I'll be able to keep making tutorials like this. The site also has a bunch of other stuff too. So if you're interested in diving a little bit deeper into it, you should watch this video up over here. And when you use these AI tools, tag me. I want to see what you're making. Now go have fun.